All right, hey collective, how y'all doing out there today? Now, I do hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. Now, I got some two way cards here that we're going to utilize today. Now, I cleaned them off and all that good stuff, put a good sage down on them. Now, let's see what's going to come out. Now, it is the clarifying life situation day. Now, let's see. Oh, okay, spirits. Now, is that three cards already? Now, we have desert and isolation. No illusions. Now, this is telling you to stay grounded in truth, embracing reality with clarity and wisdom to navigate life's journey authentically now this desert and isolation could just give me a uh, hermit mode it looks like you off to the races boo now here we have magic opportunity embrace the unexpected seize the chance for transformation Hmm. Now it look like you know where you're going. <laughs> now that was quick. That was quick. Now we're gonna clarify what my ever did. Cause I don't think I don't necessarily like to use the same deck to clarify, but at the bottom of the deck is ignite creates creation. Now it says harness innovation, fuel imagination, and witness manifestations as answers unfold in journey of discovery. Okay. Now I've been doing a couple of pre-shuffles and do look like somebody's going to tap into something. Now, in regards to what you've been working on, I do see money coming your way. A lot of it. Now, we got the fish coming out here. Hmm. And that's the King of Diamond, which is the King of Pentacles. And 34 the fish, which is 7. Let me check. Now, you could be 34 life path number 7. Now, it do look like your vibration is lit. Tapped into your intuition. I see a lot of grounding going on with you. Now, um, I actually started my first uh, walk today. Now, I'm going to uh, dedicate myself to uh, at least give myself a good hour. I'm going to break it up into maybe 30 minutes. Now, I actually found the little route where I go down the hill and have to come back up the hill. Now, coming up the hill is a challenge, boo. However, I think that's going to help me to build a little bit more endurance. Now, maybe some of you guys are going to start to do that. Now, I got a little nice outside. I put, I, 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 listen, I got that little heart pumping. I actually even bust the sweat, y'all. <laughs> now, you have the whip here with no illusions. Now, it do look like you're cleaning up your mindset. Now, I see a move in it. Somebody might be actually moving into a new house, cleaning up. Now, you could be uh, refurbishing your own home. Something like that going on. I don't know why I keep getting the feeling that somebody may have experienced the fire. I hate to put stuff of that out there like that in the air, but I keep saying it. 
Now you got the woman here. And this is the ace of spades, which is the um, ace of diamonds. Now it do look like you're getting clear on something. And this is lining up with a magical opportunity. And 29 is 11. You could be saying 11, 11. Some type of wish fulfillment is coming your way. Something that you've been hoping, wishing, and praying on, boo. It's coming. I'm trying to tell you. I done did so many pre-shuffles up here. Now, I want to see one minute what this fish is talking about. Because I, I know that the fish is about intuition, but your intuition is popping, boo. It's popping. What book is... Oh, okay. I just want to see. Really quick. What is... 30... And now, I looked at 43, 34. Y'all, when I tell you that 14, 41 is popping. Now, it says, I bring plenty of abundance. I deal in commerce and sales. I advocate independence and promote self-reliance and trade. Water expansion and flow is my department. Be careful not to trip the scales between tipsy and loaded. You don't want to end up dizzy and bloated. <laughs> huh. I don't know. I just get the feeling that uh, this desert in isolation is about to be uh, replenished, nourished. You know, because you got dry lands here. But look at all that water. Now, maybe that has something to do with ideas, too. You know what I'm saying? Something. Because no illusions. And the whip. And 11-11. You got all these 11s down here. King of Diamonds, money. Jack of Clubs is the Knight of Wands. It's all about action. Hmm. All right, that's it. Now, I want to pull from my favorite deck. This is my favorite deck, y'all. Now, what is the fish? I actually think I'm going to put these to the side. We're going to do it a little quick today, y'all. Surrender. And that was cute, and it was actually red. Nurture. Now you have personal growth. Something that you've been wishing and praying for. Something is about to become clear. Now, this looks like something that was dried up. It's about to be so plentiful. I don't know where you're going, but you're going somewhere. Love. 
Now we got six, seven, and ninety-one, which is a ten. Transformation in the new beginning. Look at that right there. Now I think I, I think I just need a uh, a couple of more cards. <laughs> I'm always talking about, uh, I just want to be clear, y'all. I think it's these. I want this. What is this fish? I think that's that's coming into balance. I don't even, you know, uh, yeah. No illusion. Stay grounded in truth. Because your day is coming, boo. Now, 212 could be significant. Could be a life path number three, two, seven, six, one, nine, seven. If I didn't say it, the goddess of the moon is at the bottom of the deck, and we're still in that full moon, new moon energy. Telling you to have patience. Because you're wishing and you're hoping on something. And that's why envy is here. But it's coming, darling. It's coming. Now you have to pay. And I told you. And this is on strategy. And this is what this didn't do. And you got personal growth right here. Page just learns. He's learning something. Now, it could have something to do with intuition. Because it is purple in your crown. Seven does represent strategy as well. And you have the king of pentacles and the three. Something you're moving forward towards. Now, we got the King of uh, Pentacles here twice. Because the King of Diamonds is here with this fish. The three, moving forward. No illusion. The whip. From two to three. Moving on from envy. Personal growth book. You doing it. Then you got three, three here. Mastering yourself. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I don't think you see this coming. Now, it could be a partnership because we got the king down here on the deck, but the queen of pentacles is here. And we have the community card here, which is pentacles again. Master number 33. Magical opportunity with the wheel and the woman and patience. Because you're coming about this situation, darling. You're coming about it. It's trusted. Believe it. Know that it's about to happen. <laughs> so, y'all, I got that uh, Guru Nanda. I'm going to see how it's going to work out, y'all. Now, it's the hype on TikTok. But let's see. 
So what I want to do is I want to use it first, the whole bottle, and just make a dentist appointment and see what they say. I want to see. I got a whole new attitude, y'all. <laughs> After I do this, I'm going to go do me another 30-minute walk. They got to come off, y'all. I'm tired of all these hips. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I know I'm going to sweat like the bullet because I think it's about 87 out there today. But I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm doing that heel, though. I think I'm going to just do some flat plane. I'm going to do that heel every day, but I'm going to just do a flat one this time, though. But I think I'm going to do a, uh, maybe a little extra 10 minutes. Now, you, you, you seen the, um, here go the uh, Jack of um, Wands right here. The Knight of Wands. And the Queen. Hmm. Now, this is the same energy. I do look like you're moving. And I think this has a lot to do with this fish over here. Because it's the six. And that's seven. Hmm. A little bit patient. But I think he could be saying seven, seven, seven. Seven, seven, seven. Now, I think whatever this is, it's going to be uh, stability within your community. Now, the community could be your own home, work environment, relationships. And I do see a move. Now, I see vastness as well. Plenty, because it's lined up with the King of Pentacles twice in strategy. Now the Hierophant and the Sun is shown here. Now I think this has something to do. With this goddess of the moon, caring connections, daughter personal healing and happiness. They got a queen right there. Now she's on love. Now we got the king and the queen right over here within this area in strategy. Now it could have something to do with finances coming into balance. But it could be a power couple because we see the caring, caring connections. And temperance is here again with patience. Something is happening, baby. Personal growth. Somebody vibration, I said, is lit. And when you raise your vibration, I'm telling you, boo, that strategy becomes very clear. They go to st look right here. Now you got the page of swords. This is somebody that every time I see the page of sword, it always takes me back to that card in regards to when it says, "How teachable are you?" It's like you're so open to learning new information, and I like this because. It's all about work, writing down those journals to balance one new beginnings. However, learning from masters, reprogramming yourself, learning ancient secrets. You got the star next to this with love. 
Now it do look like you in your north node. I want to say that. And on the split is that page. This is all about information, moving, travel. Right here on this desert of isolation to abundance. Look at the magician. Then I say it's stability, manifestations, magical opportunity. Right here on this three. And you got the magic, the magician next to the star. This is insane. Look at the queen. Tap in. Now, again, this could have something to do with creative projects, relationships. The wands always indicate something that you can touch. They go to Tower and the Queen of Cups. And they come out, though. Let me see. Let me see the death and the rebirth. Judgment on the wheel. You got the six here. Now this didn't come out. However, I pay attention to everything that I see at the bottom of the deck. And there it go. That's that clarity. That's that no illusion. That's breaking those barriers. Now that eight of cups. Now, it does indicate a surprise, a choice, but we're going to clarify it. We're going to clarify that. Now, you might be in a little bit of confusion. You might be, but I think you're going to get it together. Now, I really want to read this because I think this got something to say to you. Where is the book? What color is it? What one is it? Is it this? This one. And she right on the front page. Ooh, somebody might be on the front page. Let's see. She on the front page. Let me see something, y'all. Now I'm going to go out here and do it one more time. I know my slaves is going to be sore because I just came up that hill. Now, you could be 52. <laughs> Don't have to be, though. I'm just looking at the 52 here. Now, this card shows an internal spirit holding the bright, reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Even though I'm reading for the other card. And it's the number seven. As well as this 52 is seven. We got seven in. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon. The light is inspiration. This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving the card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you avoided three hour chaffer jam. Or you might have the idea for a great invention, a stock investment, or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of physical ability mediumship, and even professional level. You are always blessed with this ability to connect 
But this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up, get ready for the amazing inspiration that it brings. Now, it's so crazy that I just told y'all that I was about to go take a walk. But this time, I'm going to do a different route. And maybe that's what this is telling you. Maybe you should take a different route. Something might surprise you. And this is all about intuition, the swords, the mind, cups. All that insight. Something is about to happen. 777 with purpose to no growth. And I told you, intuitive, tapped in, strategy. Scrolls. I just said all that. Something. And a magical opportunity with the will and judgment here. This is already destined. It's already happening. <laughs> it's happening, baby. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Now I wanna do I'm gonna use these to clarify this. What is this spirit? I usually would use the same deck, but it's usually because I don't even see that as a deck. Now you got the two of the cups, the queen of swords, which is the same person right here, the devil. But it looked like he moving on. Now we got the king of wands here. Now this is hiding. Eight of wands and the queen, the king and the hierophant. Now I think this is all about something that's passionate, a hidden desire. The devil is not bad all the time, y'all. And that king and the queen is here. And the three of pentacles. Now, it could also be telling you to get your mind right in regards to whatever going on right here. However, I don't think there's no illusion because you're cleaning that up, boo. And they go to king of pentacles. And I think you're going to be able to save some money. Because they go out three wands right here. Just telling you again to have patience. Yeah, you're moving on from that. You're going to get clear on something. I don't know what it is, but it's 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 it's, it's about to happen. Okay, y'all? Now, that is your message. These clarified the last two cards. It's happening. It's happening. Door to personal happiness. 